Hello! This video will provide you with a brief tutorial on how to read and interpret the weekly progress report emails from Apex Learning through the MCPS Online Pathway to Graduation program. As a coach for your student in Apex Learning, you should now be receiving weekly progress reports directly from Apex, just like this one seen here. This report will show you your student's progress in their specific courses that they are taking through OPTG. As you can see, your student's name will appear here. The classroom listed includes the OPTG site that your student reports to, as well as what course they are enrolled in. The teacher listed is the teacher of record for that specific subject at that specific OPTG site. Below that, you will have a table showing progress in each course your student is enrolled in. In this case, the student is only enrolled in English 11, Semester 1. Next to that, you will see a section called Stoplight, and you will either see a green, yellow, or red entry in that box. This stoplight system is based around the due date structure for the course. Please note that the first due date for assignments is set as two days after the first day of the OPTG session. The final assignment due date is on the last day of the OPTG session. Remember, students can complete work at their own pace and are not penalized for work turned in past the due date. But it is also important to note that if they meet each of the due dates, they will finish the course by the end of the semester. The first option under the stoplight system is a green light. If you see a green light status, this means that all assignments due up until the date of this specific progress report email have been turned in on time. Essentially, your student is current in the course and is on pace to complete the course by the last day of the OPTG session. If you see a yellow light status here, this means that between one and five assignments are past due and your student is behind in the course. If you see a red light status for your student, this means the student has six or more assignments that are past due. The student is not current in the course and is not on pace to complete the course by the last day of the OPTG session. An important note that if your student does not finish by the end of the OPTG session, the student will have the opportunity to re-enroll in the next session and that student will not lose any of their current progress. Looking back at the progress report email, we can see the next portion of this table is quality of work. The percentage seen under quality of work is an average grade of only the work completed so far in the course. So in this case, this student has averaged a 76% on the assignments that have been completed. This category does not take into account any assignments that have not been completed or anything that is past due, so it is not an accurate representation of the student's overall grade. The next column is the grade to date. The percentage seen here is the average of all assignments due up until the date of this specific progress report. This will include any assignments completed, and it also includes zeros that have been added in for any past due assignments. This score is the most accurate representation of the student's current grade in the course. The midterm and final grades seen here are not applicable until the end of the course. And the last access column shows the last date that your student accessed the course. In this case, the student last accessed English 11 on October 31st. If you would like to see a more detailed report of your student's progress, including a week-by-week -week breakdown of course activity and the lists of activities and due dates, you click Detail Report seen here. Once this report comes up, please note that the top two tables contain the same information from the previous view. The graph in the middle shows course activity, and the tables below show activities that are overdue and any activities due in the upcoming week. Let's take a closer look at the course activity graph. This is a great tool to see when your student has been working and how long they've spent in the course. You can view the progress from previous weeks by clicking on the calendar here in the top right corner and selecting a new week. This will change the view of the graph based on that week. The two main categories to look at on this graph are assessment in light green and instruction in dark green. If you hover over one of the bar graphs, it will give you a breakdown of minutes and seconds viewed in each of these categories. For example here, this student spent 11 minutes in instruction modules on Monday, 58 minutes in instruction and almost 11 minutes in assessment for a total of 1 hour and 9 minutes on Wednesday, 
and they also completed 31 minutes of instruction on Thursday. The other category in gray refers to the time spent on menu pages and anything in between instruction and assessments. Below the graph, you can see any assignments that were completed that week. The activity name, the due date of that activity, the date the activity was completed and graded, the score, and the amount of time spent in that activity. And then below that, you will see two separate lists. The list on the left will show you activities that are overdue or that have not been given a score yet. You can see the activity name, the point value, and the due date. This view only shows five items at a time, so make sure if there are multiple pages that you click on the page numbers here to see all assignments that are overdue. The list on the right shows any activities that are due in the current week. Again, it shows the activity name, the point value, and the due date that is upcoming for this activity. That concludes this video tutorial on how to access your student's progress report. If you have any questions, feel free to contact the Supervisor of Online Learning, Brian Bobian, at the email address here on your screen. Thank you for watching.